Good behavior and respect to elders prolongs life. Thanks for joining us in this program, Vivid View. To God be the glory. I am your host, Ehilis. Vivid View. Say and do it. <laughs> Civilization and modernization have drastically reduced our moral values, especially among the young people. Youthful etiquette and leadership core value is the topic for today's discussion. We we'll take a break shortly, and when we return, the guests will be introduced. Don't go away, please. Vivid view. Say and do it. Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, the topic has been introduced as youthful etiquette and leadership core value. And with me in the studio today to handle this topic is a known face because he has been here before. He's a management consultant. Let's make welcome Mr. Austin Egino. Vivid view. Say and do it. Before discussion proper, please follow us on our social media handles are displayed on the screen. Welcome again, Mr. Austin. Thank you. Okay. So may we have your general perspective on this topic? Youthful etiquette and leadership, leadership core value, mm -hmm. is an interesting topic and quite broad. It's a topic that um, when I was asked to speak about it, got me thinking because every society, every home, anywhere we get to, anywhere we go to, it cut across all fairs of human endeavors. Both in our home, both in our schools, both in um, social media, there are different etiquettes that apply to different settings. And this is a topic that um, if anybody must rise, you must have the right core values and you must have the right etiquettes. We are created as social beings. And because we are social beings, we must have the right perspective on how we relate with people, relate with people, both at the anywhere we meet with them. An absence of etiquette then means per perhaps we will become uncivil, and that would lead to a lot of things. However, the society today, the youth particularly, are under immense pressure that have made them lose a sense of moral etiquette. Well, thank you so much for, for that brief introduction. What are the influence of this courtesy in youths in relation to good conduct and leadership? Look, let me start from how a child grew up. <laughs> how a okay. child grew up. So like because most better. of these values are gotten from whom? Charity begins at home, they say. How they say charity begins at home. Yeah. When a child is born, a child grows up at a point where he or she does not know anything. It grows up to begin to learn what the parent does, how the parents, the mother, the siblings, those he has met behave. And there he begins to get all of this. At a certain point, he now gets to school. When he gets to school, he now mixes up with another set of people also <laughs> who are from, also from different homes. Mm -hmm. Together now, they bring different values to, now to form an ecosystem of values. Now, if these ecosystems of values are not proper, what happens? They take it to the next level, where they graduate there and now join the university, where they meet another system of what? Mm -hmm. Values again, and from a more larger ecosystem. They graduate from there, they now move to the corporate world, mm -hmm. now meet another system of what? Different etiquette and core values. They now form a more larger uh, ecosystem of values and etiquette. Then the summary of it is, Along the line, the youth or the child have learned values that are either positive or destructive. Or negative, yeah. And this now becomes what the society is known as. This now becomes what the youth are now, they now begin to live. In our part of the world, youth are under pressure. Prayer pressure. You want to make it fast. They compromise their values. Youth of nowadays, Politeness is not there because the child never grew up to understand that it is good to be polite. The child never grew up to understand that it is good for you to give a way of right to someone. The child never grew up to understand that look, when someone does good to you, you should say thank you. Yeah. You should appreciate. The, child, the, the, because the society itself is putting the child, and what he's reading in textbook is different from what is being done or exhibited mm -hmm. by the leaders they look forward to. So what do you expect? You find a society where there's chaos, 
There's crisis. There's trouble. And to even compound the whole, the whole thing, most parents buy examination questions for their kids. They cheat. They facilitate the cheating by giving them money for the child to have his way. And what do you expect the child <laughs> to become afterwards? My dad have done it. Most of our kids today, they were the so-called role model fighting the National Assembly. The were the so-called role model they look forward to cut corners to get money. And we live in a society where we respect what you have, not what you are. Too sad. That is too sad. Yeah, so we respect. It doesn't matter how you get it. But once you get it, I celebrate you. What that means, I can compromise my values. I can compromise my moral etiquette just to make sure I make it. And when I make it, the society celebrates you. But that is wrong. Very, no very society wrong. is built on that. No society without, without foundation at the base of the society, there will be a problem. So all of this together put a pressure on our youths because they want to meet up. Our youth, okay, I don't want to be left behind. Leaving them behind appears as if, oh, I've lost it. Why should I? My mates have gotten this. I must also get it. So if you can't beat them, you join them. If you can't beat them, you join them. Exactly. Well said. Hmm. Well said. If you cannot beat them, you join them. Let me join them. <laughs> let me join the crowd. But forgetting that, the fact that Mr. A is ahead does not mean that you that is doing the right thing and coming, you will not catch up. There is one thing that sustains anyone at the top. Yeah. It's values, and character. character, and the right etiquette. When you don't have it, you lose it all. Thank you so much for that answer you provided. Uh, when you were saying, you mentioned about, about parents that charity begins at home. And I must tell you that some of the things our youth are doing, because I always say here that parents are the first mentor to their children. Absolutely. We are the one first to influence our children, whether positively or negatively. And so where a parent does not so believe that I could greet the next door neighbor, a parent just mind your business. If he passes you 10 times, he goes and his, his face is just up. He doesn't even care whether anybody is around, whether you're junior to him or her, it doesn't matter. Where you go to an office in an elevator, you, you will be in the same elevator with some youth. They will just be looking at you. And of course, I have a way of doing it. I'll just greet you to intimidate you. Good afternoon. You see, oh, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Why must you wait for her to greet you first? Yeah. So because our children didn't learn this from some of our parents, not yeah. all anyway, they, they, they don't feel that there's nothing. And this world now, like, like I started, modernization and civilization, operation, mind your business. That's what they know. So what's your business then? They can't even correct. If you correct, you become a, 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 well, it becomes an, 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 an issue. Absolutely. Either the, the child, the youth concern will give you insult of your life without minding that you might even be older than his direct parents. Yeah. So these are things where, but these things are not right, as we said. They're not right. You want to join your mates, want to do what your mates are doing. But character is what will take you to, to somewhere. You can only be delayed. Do the right thing. It's only a little delay. And you see, get where oh. and much better, and even last longer. Many people have want to make it now. They enter into courts, enter into secret societies that short live their lives. Only 30 years you will live. This way you want now from these 20, 22 years, 20 years, you live only 30 years. 30 years you die. I say, I don't mind. Let me enjoy for the eight years. That is stupidity. So many, we are having all these things around us. You know, you selling their their friends, you know, to, 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 for to kidnap. They'll set you up, they do so many Ooh. things, just they want money. These things we should leave. It's not take you anywhere. We came to this world empty, and empty we must go back to the owner. Whether you like it or not, absolutely. you believe it or not, yeah. one day you also leave this planet. Oh, so let us behave well. Take a break now. Vivid view. Say and do it. <clears throat>